You never think you'd be in a situation where the road leading up to your home was completely impassable, where you couldn't get out and people couldn't get to you, bringing some much needed supplies. Well, a lot of people in Linville Falls are feeling that right now when the road leading up to their home looks like this. So many areas on 221 all the way from Linville Falls down through Linville Caverns to Ashfield looks like this. So many sections washed away. One woman lives at the bottom of this hill. She says that she was told that power trucks can't get through. This is such a bad and dangerous area. They can't get through, so she was told that they probably won't have power for at least four weeks. Slow and steady. That's what cars are doing in order to pass through this washed out area of US 221. Some people who live down this road showed me these pictures of some homes down the hill absolute devastation and a lot of homeowners are still stuck in their homes. The McCall family jumped into action as soon as the storm passed last week. They cleared trees and debris to make sure it was safe for cars and families to try and get through. There's enough people that's trapped between the bridge down the road and right here that need to get out and we made Johnson City the other day just to you know get groceries and everything like that so that's what that's what we're trying to help out as people to get out and get things they need. The Linville Volunteer Fire Department says it has been checking on people and working to make sure that the areas where no contact has been made is reached. Avery County remains under a curfew between 8 p.m. and 5 a.m. County officials are asking people to stay off the road during this time while crews clear the impacted areas. In Linville Falls, Amber Lake, WFMY News 2.